Challenge. Come on in today. Who's ready to eat some wings? Ready to eat some wings? You're on Womack. You're a wing guy, right? Yes. Come on in. It is game day. Let's give it a round of applause for the Middle East Wing Challenge. Come on. You guys have spent the last few days making up some analogies for the Middle East. Comparing the United States relations with different countries in the Middle East as based on Buffalo Wild Wings sausage. And if you look right over here, oh, we've got ourselves a bevy of sauces. We're visiting with Derek Schutte and TJ Warsnack, and we're going to be focusing on their Middle East Wing Challenge. Now give us a little bit of the history, pun intended, behind this event. All right. Well, we, we teach a world studies class here at Halstead High School, and we, just over the course of the last couple of years, we, we've wanted to move to a more project-based learning idea, and... Whenever we're looking at the Middle East and U.S. relations there, along with current events, um, we, were, we just were basically having a discussion at the door one day during passing period about what, what our relationship with different countries are in the Middle East. Um, and I don't know why, maybe because it was March Madness and maybe because we were hungry, um, we were just kind of joking about, hey, what would it be like to compare that to a buffalo wild wing sauce? Oh, we've got ourselves a bevy of sauces. Everything from a very nice, mild, piquant of honey barbecue up to our best friend, the mango habanero. And then from there, it, it started to kind of grow a little bit. Yeah, and we, like I said, it started as a joke and then we just thought, well, let's do it. Uh, so we, we contacted uh, Buffalo Wild Wings over uh, New Market Square in Wichita and uh, the manager Bruce there was uh, said, hey, if it's going to help promote education, I'm all for it. He's been nice enough to donate uh, wings and sauce and uh, so the Middle East Wing Challenge was born and uh, we've now moved on and we built a website for it. The goal is that uh, students are going to um, make analogies comparing the relationship between uh, countries in the, uh, excuse me, the United States, countries in the Middle East to a Buffalo Wild Wing sauce. They've got to give us some some facts about why uh, that analogy or those reasons match up with that particular sauce. Maybe I should go enjoy a wing. I we think I will. Yeah, let's go enjoy yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I'd love to enjoy it. Let me show you how you want to make sure you want to lather up the wing. So first off, get yourself a little a little plate here. Get yourself a wing and well, I mean, might as well have mango habanero. What have you seen from the kids through past years and the challenges and their skills they developed and how that translates into their learning in their life. First of all, you know, whenever you look at kind of a traditional method of teaching or what we used to do um, by just going through a textbook um, and, and taking tests at the end of the semester or end of the quarter or the end of the unit, um, students, you know, they, they, they did well and, and they would still, you know, work through that and, you know, they were diligent on it. but. They, you know, they were always looking at it as far as what do you want me to know and let me know. And as long as I know that, that's fine. With this, um, seeing, first of all, a different environment that it's going to be and that, that we're incorporating something that a lot of students like, which is Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, they're excited about that. Some of them want to eat as many of those wings as possible. And so whenever they, they, they're a little bit more motivated for it. And then whenever we're able to add another component of things that, you know, they kind of heard in current events, um, listen to in the news, they, they want to kind of learn that a little bit more. Um, and this gives them, you know, that, that reason to dive into it. Um, and then it's, it's just, you know, makes for a lighter, more positive classroom whenever we have these types of things at the end, um, instead of ending it with like, hey, now here's a test as a final kind of like you know, almost throwing a stone at them or a rock that just weighs them down. Um, they, they now are learning and, and they see something positive come out of their learning of, you know, completing this wing challenge, having their picture on the wall of fame, and then students come in in future years and they start to look at that poster, right? Yeah, uh, they look and they, they say, hey, what, when do we get to do this? When do, we, when do we do the wing challenge? What is the wing challenge? 
um, and hey, I want to do that, or we have past students say, hey, why didn't I get to do that uh, when, I, when I was in class? And, and I think one great thing about it is, is it's, it, it encourages an answer that you can't really Google. Uh, you gotta, you got to use some of the, the, the facts that they're gathering and the information that they're gathering and then applying it here to the Middle East, to a Buffalo Wild Wing sauce. And we're also going to see, you know, some of them, we have the challenges set up. They'll, they might fail the challenge the first time, so they got to come back with another analogy uh, and, and, then, and then try the challenge again. So it kind of teaches them, hey, that it's okay to, to fail. They're not worried about a grade. They're worried about, hey, the effort, and then, hey, I can, I can fail. I can try again with another analogy, try the challenge, and hopefully get a, a ah, little wild wing. It's okay to fail. Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh, what do I smell? Wings. Real Buffalo Wild Wings. If you brought your phone today, make sure that you thank Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, throw out a tweet to them. Remember, if the analogy that you give is a good, solid analogy, we'll be grading those on one wing answers, two wing answers, or three wing answers. Guys, it's time to get new members for the Middle East Wing Challenge Wall of Fame. This guy right here, stand up, Mr. Womack. Let's hear one of your analogies. I like that answer right there. You mentioned the terrorist part, you mentioned ISIS as used to have your control, and then you mentioned the travel ban. That's a good three wing answer right there to get us started. Thursday chaos. What you got? Honey barbecue? Yeah. Oh yeah. Be, be, be liberal with that, with that I mean, what you, sauce on there. Okay. I like that a lot. Okay. That's a neat uh, comparison that you made with the Caribbean jerk sauce on there. Well, our relationship with Turkey. Okay. And what what group, what terror group is present in the Syrian? Very good. Three wing answer. Awesome. Rock it up fun. Let's see what he gets. Let's what do you think it'll be, everyone? <laughs> Honey, Honey barbecue. barbecue! What an easy row! Wow. That's like the 16 feet knocking off a one That's seat. right. Right here, Dixie. Dixie, you got, another, you got some more chicken. That'll cool it off. <laughs> the only cure is more mango habanero. Yep, eat that chicken. Of course you wanted for garlic, so I assume. Garlic! What? Hold on. Flag! Winner forever on the wall of fame. Congratulations. What do you expect to see from the kids this year? What identifiers do you think they're they're going to go to this the really hot things or what's going to be the more mild relationships? Um, are they all the same, or are they going to be different opinions from the students? I think you'll see d quite a few different opinions. Once again, the students seem to focus on you know they think different things are important. Um, some of our students you know are really are worried about terrorism and see that as the number one threat. Um, other students see the U.S. You know, looking at how uh, we've dealt with refugees and whether or not we've been welcoming of them or whether or not we've um, been had major concerns about them coming into our country. They focus on that. And other students, like I said, look at what human rights are in the region. Um, there's also you know, the, the aspect of Cold War support. Um, that still lingers as far as our support for Israel. So it's a little bit about what they they value as being important. The goal is that they they'll be a lot more responsible for their learning. It's not us lecturing and feeding them information. It's it's uh, here's the information that that we think is that we think is important right now, and you're going to do some activities with it. Now I've seen Buzzy to you. You have some hashtags Buffalo Wild Wings. All said high school Buzzy to you. What's the same as Buzzy to you? Well. Whenever we, we decided to move away from the textbook, mm -hmm. like one of our big ideas was that we wanted to have classrooms um, and an, an environment in here where, where students wanted to talk about what was going on in the class at home at dinner, um, in other classes, or just whenever they're walking out of school. Hey, this is what we did in class. It was crazy, it was neat. Um, we had a lot of fun today in Mr. Shooting's or Mr. Warsnack's class. And so, you know, that kind of gave the idea of we wanted to have a buzz about our classroom. Um, that, that made it different than, you know, what was going on down, down the road at some other high school. And with that, you know, one of the things that we, we realized pretty quick was that you don't get any buzz about your classroom if you're using a textbook. We use the hashtag buzzy to you, but 
our theme is, is buzzworthy. That the, we can't just have a buzz about the class. Hey, that's fun. We, it has to be worthy content. It, it needs to have those primary sources. It needs to have the civic engagement. It needs to meet our standards. Um, and so we make sure that, that the content's worthy of the students and, and worthy of, of our classroom.